Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be at the Lingwood Duathlon season opener. It's a 5k, 20k, 5k. Bit of a little test of form before Oceanside. I had there's uh, some stiff competition at this one, uh, unlike Oceanside. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a good uh, way to uh, see how the form's going at the moment. Tell my man, come off the road. Go get a job and salary. Them man so diet cold. That food's got zero calories Them jewels look jiggity jaggedy That diamond's got zero clarity I don't wanna get pissed off See a man lift off that zero gravity Anyway, actually Why have you decided to do this random do up on him? Uh, just for um, a bit of a burn up really uh, <laughs> Test most of the race equipment yeah. Make sure it's all working smoothly Should be a good like bike run practice it's quite hard to do in training, you know, to set everything up where you can like leave your bike out, come straight in, like off the bike and then go for a run. Whereas here it's all sorted, isn't it? You know, you've got the transition zone. Um, so you can just practice stuff that you can't really do in training. And it's on the doorstep as well, like 15 minutes away. Two weeks out from Ocean Tide, it's a good way to get a bit of a very sharp room before, uh, before heading to America. Just a shame it's not 10 degrees warmer. <laughs> Because we're starting in waves of one minute, it's going to take a bit of time to talk the dots out. So if you think you have a chance to trophy, hang around the um, finish area and we'll get them presented as, as soon as we can. Um, the gentleman who was at the back of the... Cheers. I'll grab your chip, is that alright? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Good little burn up. <laughs> Second run was uh, faster than the first. Got a little bit of a, got a bet going on here. You know uh, the guy in second? Yeah. If he finishes second and I win and he finishes second yeah. but I don't beat him by more than eight minutes, yeah. he gets the trophy. Mm -hmm. Because that's the handicap. Because oh. he works full time on pro. So we've got an eight minute handicap. So I don't get to keep the, the yeah. trophy unless I've beaten by eight minutes. Yeah. Because he says you don't deserve it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, well How was it anyway? What's that? Was it good? Was it good anyway? Yeah, it was Quite good, good. Yeah. yeah. It was a tough course, yeah. Well done, yeah. congratulations. Well okay, done. thanks very much. How'd it go? Uh, good, yeah. First run I felt real sluggish. Because I've been feeling a bit under the weather this week. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I weren't sure. But then the second run I felt great. You're like, strong, I think strong on the bike, eh? Uh, with the wind it was alright I don't really know it's hard to know what a good time is but my I think, brakes, think you got the course record 
Of right, course, records are relay, so. Uh... <laughs> but I was telling them, we've got, I've got a bet on it. He goes, he, he goes, forget. He's not the strong, so. Yeah, he goes, forget all of this. If I don't finish second, it don't fucking matter anyway. That's what he said to <laughs> I think he's got about six, six and a half minutes, six from now, something like that. Oh, here he comes. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's just, I'm not entirely sure how much time he's got. I think he's got about six minutes from now to do one more lap. Well, and it's tight, it's tight. And it's about a mile, isn't it, lap? Like, it's a bit yeah. short, in it, the, this run, it's isn't it? It's a little bit short than 5k, yes. yeah. That's why we made this bit a bit longer, to try and make it a bit longer. Yeah. Here we go, let's give him some abuse. Abuse. He's got about 5.45. Come on, Liam! you got about 5 minutes 45 to do about a mile. If you want that trophy, come on. Come on, mate. Come on, dig in. Come on, Liam. Run, 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 run. Come on, you got big skipper. Come on, keep going. Come on, Liam. He reckon he's the fastest electrician going, but I'm sure John Felwell would uh, have something to say about that. <laughs> Here we go. They're catching you. Come on, mate. Come on. Dream big. Dream big. Dream big. They're fing on you, mate. You better fing pick it up or you're going to get a second. <laughs> Go on, make him work for it. Make him work. Go on. Go on, fing have it, hand it to him. Go on, fing catch him. <laughs> <laughs> if you want second. He's literally 10 seconds behind, you've got 600 metres from here. 600 metres, mate, two minutes. Go on, mate. Go on. Make him work for it. Go on. You get him. <laughs> so that guy started in your wave then, the The one third in front guy. started in, in our wave. Yeah. The ones behind started in the second. The, the guy in third, I think, started in the first wave. Yes. And that guy in second started in the second wave. Okay. But I'm telling him he started in the same oh, wave bro. just to fucking make yeah. him think, shit. I thought he was in the. I thought he was. I thought I was a minute ahead of him. So he's got him anyway, but. Yeah, but I just want to make him sweat a bit. <laughs> <laughs> like sure he's got a minute gone. and ten yeah. seconds on him, but he thinks he's only got ten seconds. Come on, Liam. He's in the same wave as you. He's three seconds behind now. Three seconds. We're four hundred. Go on, mate. Go on, mate. Come on, make him work for it. Make him work for it. Come on. It's Come on. Finished, Surely you can get him. Good show, mate. Yeah, but I, uh, well I adjusted my brakes yesterday. So I did my brakes with. Uh, Littering, I've got the photograph to prove it. Right, I'll go up again then. Now, the winner is Joe in a course record, astonishing time, one hour, 20 minutes, and 44 seconds. Well done. That would have been close, wouldn't it? That eight minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how are you feeling now going into Oceanside? Um, all right. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm like super confident of uh, smashing Oceanside, but pretty pretty solid. Um, the, the run today off the bike, the second one was really good. Um, 3.14 average kilometre pace for just over four and a half K on a cross country run course and it felt nice, like felt like I was working, but could have definitely kept it up for, for longer. So pleased with that. Um, if I can hold around 320, something like that for Oceanside, that'd be great. And then uh, the biking, I'm not sure how well it's going at the moment. Um, today I didn't have power on there. I thought I had connected my power meter before, but to be honest, I'm quite pleased because of the kind of course it was. I don't think my power would have been very good and it would have probably just been a bit demoralizing. Um, just because there was a lot of sections where you couldn't really put the power, you couldn't really put the power out. Um, but yeah, it was it was solid, it was solid. The first run was, wasn't was great. Um, I wasn't pushing it on the limit, but I just, because I didn't feel amazing. But I think that's partly because I've just been a bit under the weather this week. But yeah, the second run felt, felt, felt felt great felt fantastic bike felt pretty good um so yeah it's a good it's a good start uh, and texas uh, is obviously the main 
the main aim really. Oceanside, I just need to not lose too much points in the si series to some of my rivals. So um, it's just basically damage limitation in Oceanside and then make the most of it and consolidate in the Ironmans. All right guys, so that was a little tune up race. Um, good to get on the bike, practice um, a, hard, hard, a, little, a hard effort and then go for a run straight off, something that you can't really simulate that easily in training. So uh, pleased uh, that I did that and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Fingers crossed that I'm on form in Oceanside. Uh, get the ball rolling and off to a good start in the Ironman Pro Series. Uh, season's big target. Looks like there's gonna be a stacked field for it. 72 pros, I think, are on the start line. Uh, some of the best names in triathlon, you've got Braden Curry, you've got Sam Long, who has already proven himself this year at the T100. Um, you've got Patrick Langer. So uh, definitely gonna have my work cut out. Um, but looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great season of racing. So uh, see you on the other side.